This is Jeremy with thecustomgeek.com, and I have here a little capacitive touch sensor. Really easy to use widget for control. There is a positive, a negative, and a signal out. There's also little tiny jumpers here, which I'm going to blow up a picture. There it is. And to show you that you can make this a latching output or a high output or a low output. And so I have three of these guys here set up on a breadboard. If I add power, ding. Now I'm putting five volts through here. And so I have this one is set up as a low output. So if I trigger it, it'll go low. This is a momentary output. This one is a high output, same thing, momentary. And this is a latching. So you touch it and it stays whatever state that you set it to be. Not very much current. If I turn all these LEDs off, it's still registering zero on the power supply. It's probably a little bit more than that, but it's very, very, a very low draw. Also too, these are capacitive touch sensors. And if you get kind of close to them, they trigger. So that's incredibly useful when you're putting these behind a 3D printed enclosure and you wanna just touch the outside of the enclosure and it works very, very well. So these are on Amazon. I have a link down there somewhere and I'm an Amazon affiliate. I would appreciate if you go check that out and comment, like, and subscribe and all that fun stuff I'm supposed to say. But these are very useful for controlling things controlled by microcontrollers. So we'll get into this little widget later. This is kind of cool. You'll see that show up in my kitchen. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and have a good day. This guy is pretty cool. Very simple to use. There's a doorbell in my house. I'll do one more. I'll do one more.